Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have a different topic, Hypothesis. It's not much important in undergraduation, but sometimes uh, you can expect a question like Null Hypothesis or Alternate Hypothesis. But it's very much important uh, in post-graduation while doing thesis or short study. So this video is about the classification of hypothesis. So I'll be explaining one by one with uh, help of an example. So before moving to the classification, we need to understand the very basic idea of hypothesis or a study. So in any study, we'll be having two variables. The first one is independent variable and the second one is dependent variable. Okay, independent variable which is the cause and dependent variable which is the effect so always a study will be analyzing or finding out the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable so we take an example of smoking and lung cancer which is a cliche example of our hypothesis or research the smoking causes lung cancer so all of us know smoking causes lung cancer but lung cancer can be caused by many but smoking has uh, so much significant contribution to lung cancer so this is the cause and this is the effect so first of all we need to understand this concept that is what is independent variable and what is dependent variable so independent variable a variable which is acting like a cause and dependent variable which is acting like an effect now let's move on to the classification so before that uh, I forgot to tell you what is exactly hypothesis hypothesis is nothing but a accurate guess it is not a confirmatory statement it is a accurate guess so it is you can say it is a assumption assumption about the relationship of variable okay so we need to test the hypothesis to prove that assumption so the hypothesis might be wrong or it might be true but we need to do a research in order to prove that hypothesis so we say smoking causes lung cancer that is a hypothesis we don't have any proof for that so any study starts with a hypothesis so at the beginning of the study we don't have any confirmatory statement we have just an, an assumption or a guess so that is hypothesis so now let's move to uh, classification so we have many classification uh, simple uh, hypothesis complex hypothesis empirical hypothesis null hypothesis alternative directional non-directional causal and statistical among these these are very important the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis so we start any study with a null hypothesis that is stating that there is no relationship between these two that is there is no relationship between independent variable and dependent variable that is in a very short statement we can say that there is no effect of smoking in lung cancer that is null there is no effect okay no effect that is a null hypothesis but alternate hypothesis is exactly the opposite so null hypothesis we denote by this alternate hypothesis we denote like this so alternate hypothesis says that there is an effect smoking might cause lung cancer or smoking has high chance of causing lung cancer but null hypothesis says that there is no effect of smoking on lung cancer so most of the studies starts with a null hypothesis and with the data collected from that particular study can reject that null hypothesis and says that there is an effect or accept that null hypothesis and says that there is no effect so that is the most important 
two hypotheses, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So this is a uh, very very important null and alternative. Now let's move to the other ones. Uh, we have the first one is simple hypothesis. Simple hypothesis where we state that there exists a relationship between two variables that is independent and dependent variable that is one causes the other or we can say independent variable causes the dependent variable okay so so the simplest hypothesis is smoking causes or smoking leads to lung cancer so we have just one independent variable and one dependent variable so it is a simple one smoking causes lung cancer so just one independent variable and one dependent variable now let's see what is complex complex hypothesis as the name says it's very complex because we have more than one independent and more than one dependent variable that is smoking and uses of drugs leads to cancer tension and chest infection okay so here we have smoking and drugs causes or leads to lung cancer tension and chest infection okay so here we have more than one independent variable that is smoking and drugs and more than one dependent variable so it became complex that is complex hypothesis now what is empirical hypothesis empirical means it is based on evidence okay so if we have evidence that is we have evidence to say that smoking causes lung cancer that type of hypothesis known as empirical sometimes we won't have evidence such as if we take the corona pandemic we don't have any much evidence on that but smoking and lung cancer there is a uh, a lots of cohort study which has already proven smoking causes lung cancer so we have evidence so if we say something or some hypothesis with evidence that becomes empirical hypothesis now what is null and alternative that we already discussed in detail null means there is no effect between the independent and dependent variable so alternative just the opposite sometimes alternative hypothesis also known as research hypothesis because if we are seeing a effect between two variables that should be a empirical one okay so alternative hypothesis means there is already evidences present in the literature because if you are saying smoking leads to lung cancer will be a simple one it will be empirical one it will be alternative one most of the studies will not be as simple as it looks it will be much complicated but i am trying to give you an idea at the very basic level so alternative is just opposite of null hypothesis where we say that there is an effect but in order to say that we need to have evidence that evidence comes from previous studies of literature so that is a empirical one also so that is null and alternative hypothesis so what is directional and non directional hypothesis so this alternate hypothesis also known as h1 so this is a null hypothesis h0 it will be denoted like this so uh, you will be seeing in articles h0 ha or h1 this is alternative hypothesis okay now we have the directional and non directional so directional hypothesis predicts the direction of relationship between independent variable and dependent variable just take an example a high quality of nursing education will lead to high quality of nursing practice skills so there is a direction so high quality will lead to high quality practice high quality practice so if people with good education will definitely result in good 
people i mean good uh, nursing skill practice so that is a direction so we are pointing our hypothesis in a particular direction if the person is with good quality of education will be having good quality of practices that is directional hypothesis whereas non directional hypothesis it will not predict the relationship between the independent variable and dependent variable so the non directional hypothesis is like there is no specific direction of the relationship example is teacher student relationship influence students learning okay so we don't know if the teacher student relationship might increase the students performance or decrease the students performance we don't know if the students are having not a good rapport with the teacher that might negatively affect the students performance so it is not exactly saying a direction this is exactly saying a direction high education high practice but teacher student relationship influence students learning it says just influencing in which direction it's not specifying that is non directional hypothesis okay so that is the difference between directional and non directional so it all comes under different categories of null and alternatives so these are very very important now the causal hypothesis causal hypothesis means causality smoking causes lung cancer it predicts a cause and effect relationship or interaction between the independent variable and dependent variable so this causal relationship is again an alternative hypothesis or again it is an empirical hypothesis because it is saying a causality that is this causes this in order to say that we need to have evidence that is empirical if you are saying that this causes this or there is an effect it again becomes alternative hypothesis so that is causal hypothesis and last one is statistical hypothesis so the statistical thing is very tricky sometimes there won't be any effect between these two variables but we might get a statistical significance because sometimes we do a study with just five people okay we take five people uh, who are smoking and five people who are not smoking and found out that there is a risk of four times that means there is four times risk of people with smoking to have a lung cancer and we get a statistical significance and we put forward a statement that the smoking uh, causes lung cancer because we have a statistical significance but does it true because we have just five samples even though we have statistical significance in reality we cannot say that smoking causes lung cancer because we have tested that relationship in just five people or let it be in a very small sample so in order to prove that it should be a very bigger sample it should be a cohort study it should be uh, studied in variety of populations variety of uh, regions then only we can prove it or we can say that uh, empirically or alternatively or causally so statistical significance uh, is a, just a mathematical thing we can obtain with a very small sample but it doesn't prove causality so statistical significance just says that there is a effect but in reality it won't be there or less chances so that is about hypothesis so all you need to understand is the basic idea of null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis this is very important and rest all comes under different names of alternative mostly and the empirical the directional causal all are one or the same of alternative hypothesis so hope you understood the concept i'm not uh, explaining in detail or i have not explained it in detail i just want to give you an idea about the independent variable dependent variable concept and cause effect and the various classification so i'll come up with a new topic in dentistry and more thank you